with some form of anxiety, and yet most of those who need treatment aren't getting the therapy or the medications that they need. We'll strap the snow ba boots back on because only our Danica Lewis shares the story of a young woman who's taking the mental health conversation to new heights. Not gonna lie, I think the chaos is what makes me succeed. A lot of us need to set limits for ourselves, boundaries, so we don't reach that level of chaos so often achieved right here by an overachieving high school senior. This is where I do all my schoolwork. And then there's Anna Hoffman's workload. So I tend to overthink things and I tend to go too deep into it. She'll be the first to admit the AP history homework, the essays to get into Utah or the UW didn't always come easy. I kind of have a fear of failure. Um, it's kind of a major thing, and so it holds me back sometimes where I won't even start doing something because I'm kind of afraid for failure. So, naturally, Anna specializes in a sport with no risk. Like, not a lot of people do it, so, I mean, it's kind of strange in that way. But it's like a sport for, like, old Norwegian men. You know, I'm kind of, like, not that. <laughs> Just you, and you're in the air. So, I don't know. Many other things that are lot free, I guess. Even in such a limitless sport, Anna knew something was holding her back. Yeah, I started getting like treated for anxiety at the end of eighth grade, so about four years ago. Hard work put in at places like Blackhawk Ski Club, followed by hard work and therapy. It takes practice and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of um, thought every day. And even with that, you know, I have a lot of bad jumps. That adrenaline rush just gets to you and you just are so excited to go back up and do it again. But one crash almost ended her ski jumping career for good. Some of the hardest times of my life. In 2014, Anna was in a car full of cross-country teammates. They were turning into Schuster Farms in Deerfield. And my friend and I were double buckled in the front seat. Another driver speeding on Highway 12 hit them on that side. Anna watched her friends leaving in ambulances. One was hurt so badly she had to be flown to the hospital. To be honest, I questioned why I got to live um, from that. And as a 14-year-old, that's really hard to do. Yeah, that's a phone call you, you... Sharon Hoffman... Never want to get as a parent. ...who rarely questioned her daughter's safety on the slopes, knew Anna needed help. You'd take her in the car. After that, every time you tried to turn left, she would wince for months and months and months. When she saw her friends in the car, that it was pretty bad, the things that she saw, you know, for any kid. Now dealing with something usually associated with older veterans, the PTSD, the anxiety, they weren't limitations, not for Anna. This is a treatable thing. This isn't something that has to restrict you from anything. So the work continues. I don't have to let this control me and I don't have to let um, this fear of failure, fear, fear of embarrassment, Control me. Just as she pushes her limits physically, Anna continues to see a therapist and takes medication. Anxiety is a disorder, just as if high blood pressure is a disorder. It should not be regarded any differently than high blood pressure. And you wouldn't go a day treated without high blood press pressure medication? You can live a very full, good life. Why would you go a day without treatment of that? And it's no different than that. This was my first World Cup bid. The same year Anna questioned her existence. Junior Nationals in Alaska. And her future in the sport she loves so much. For my first Junior Nationals that I ever went to and that I also won. She won Junior Nationals. That is my Olympic trials bid. And went on to compete at an international level. Well, I think that's what the what's the beauty about anxiety is it doesn't mean you can't do you know any certain thing like you can do anything I don't think there's any reason to let any sort of problem hold you back knowing living with a mental illness doesn't mean a life with limits you're not alone because even a fear of failure can't compete with the freedom of flying. I think it's been a work in progress, and I think, I think it'll always be a work in progress. And that's something to look forward to, I think. Yeah. Danica Lewis, WISC News 3.
Now, we also spoke to the psychiatrist who heads up the UW Anxiety Center. You can see those extended interviews up on our Time to Talk page, along with more in-depth information about anxiety. That's also where you can find some advice from SSM health doctors and weekly tips on mental health. Just go to channel3000.com slash time for kids. Incredible story there, incredible young woman. Oh, yes, definitely, and uh, I think she can teach all of us a lot. Sure. And one nice thing that we saw there, but we don't have to see anymore, a little Is bit of snow. snow. Yeah, yeah, we didn't see it that long ago. <laughs>